Well, after getting shocked and having fun with my last camera teardown and vowing to never do one again, I decided it'd be fun to make a liar of myself. <laughs> this one I have not powered on before making this video, so hopefully no shocks. This is an old Kodak DX3900 digital zoom camera. At first I thought this was the um, camera sensor. And this was just like a filler for a different model of camera, but apparently this little uh, slide over here opens and closes the lens cover. So that's kind of amusing. And I believe this camera uses oh, a CF card, which is still in here. Let's see, let's see, see if I can eject that. There we go. 64 megabytes. So yeah, this will be going in the CF, CF card box. <laughs> I'm saving them for some reason. I should be trying to sell them, but I, I just keep collecting more of them. All right. I should find a non-conductive screwdriver, or well, a screwdriver with a non-conductive handle, so I can discharge the capacitor. But I'm going to hope that my confidence isn't misplaced and that since this thing hasn't been plugged in for who knows how long now, the capacitor's been drained. Hmm. It just falls right off. Anywho. Let's see, what other screws can we take out? Already having flashbacks of getting shocked by the flash. <laughs> uh, let's hope I don't regret making this video. Hmm. Trying to decide if this needs violence or not. Oh, nope, there it goes. And let's uh, disconnect this display. Let's see here. Hmm, just looking at that capacitor is making me anxious. <laughs> ah, never said I was smart. Back of the display assembly and buttons for uh, interfacing with the camera. The, uh, yeah, it's a mode switch. The mode switch is using the same style of uh, wiper system. Also, this uh, display seems to be backlit with a uh, cold, cold cathode fluorescent lamp, which is uh, kind of crazy. I didn't realize they uh, made lamps that small. Don't know if that's a part number or not. Let's see what's under the hood. Hmm. Get a little deeper in there. Maybe it's not a cold cathode. What's weird is, there's a little nipple there, like it was, um, it had a vacuum drawn on it. wonder if it's, um, like a vacuum fluorescent type system. Hmm, that's kind of cool. I think I'll actually put that together and just kind of throw that in a pile of random pieces and parts I have. Don't know why, but it seems fun. <laughs> Bunch of tactile but switches on this uh, button assembly. Oh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Not looking forward to getting deeper in this. 
I really don't want to get shocked again. Oop, more stuff falling off. Should be mindful of where I'm putting my fingers probably, but yeah. Hmm. I am not certain what's hanging me up here. Oh, that's a little clip there. Looks like there's a bunch of little clips everywhere. There we go. Oh, it's broken now. Kind of a cool mechanism though. How does that interact? All right. The, uh, it's not even a lever, it's just a circular plastic ring. The spring on it to give it a little uh, tension, I guess. And then this uh, cover just interacts with a little notch there. It's not working properly right now because there's nothing to stop it from popping out of place, but yeah. Oh my, wow. I don't think I've seen a coin cell that small before. <laughs> Can't even pop it out without taking the socket with it. This is definitely not meant to be serviceable because there's no way to access that battery. Ah, I can't even read what it is. That's just tiny. I mean, that's the tip of my finger there. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, let's take off this top board. This is where things start going wrong, probably. Oops, I need to zoom out a little more. There we go. Wow, there's a lot of circuitry on this board. Hmm. A lot of circuitry. It's a fairly old camera though, so a lot less, a lot less uh, chances to put everything on one chip. No clue what that is or what it does, but yeah, this is just the control assembly. A lot of test points. Maybe it's a display driver for the uh, top display. And then time circuitry, I suppose, to keep track of time and date. Hmm. All right. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to take this backboard off and probably not go any further. Jeez, is that? Oh, all right. No, that's not. I was gonna say it's this flash circuitry, but I think this is uh, power management, based on all the components and stuff on it. Hmm. Breaking my my rule I just set. Probably shouldn't even be touching. Oh, that's just battery component. Connections. I'm still attached to something here. Now let's take a closer look at the camera board or the processing board, I guess. Put that back in frame. Can't tell you what half that stuff is. This almost looks like a memory chip. But with, as old as this thing is, I don't think, I don't think it is. I don't know. This is probably the main brain. And then the back side doesn't really have much to show. I 
I think I'm going to pause, find some rubber gloves, short that out, and <laughs> take it apart. I will be back. All right, I've gotten it torn out a little further. This is no charge on it, but um, yeah, I did dis try discharging it with a piece of metal with with these uh, just cheap dollar store gloves. Probably not good enough for whatever voltage flashes run out, but makes me feel a little safer. <laughs> this uh, flash assembly is a lot more complicated than the uh, Canon one I tore down that shocked me. <laughs> And it's a removable module, which is kind of cool, even though I don't think any of this is meant to be serviceable. I'd like to see what the capacitor is, but it's glued down, so I don't think I'm going to be able to bust it off. I think it's 320 microfarad, though, based on what I could see from the side. Looks like there's a, at least a 320. Also, it looks like this flash housing is screwed on. Oh, that's cool. It's a removable housing. Or assembly, that is. Hmm. Yeah, you can definitely tell this camera's old when uh, everything is uh, basically serviceable. So, the flash flash assembly, that's going to get shoved off to the side. And uh, back to the fun bits. This just seems to be a power delivery board for the whole camera. Not removable though, as far as I can tell, because these tabs. Oh, there's another screw. These tabs are soldered on, but maybe. Ah, yeah. A little speaker too. That's just gonna get ripped off unceremoniously. Hmm. Oops, I'm not in frame. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not sure what this limit switch was for previously. Maybe battery detection. Looks like it might have lined up. Let's see here. Yeah, it lined up with the uh, battery slot. Well, here's the last part. We'll see how interesting this is. This is the uh, camera assembly. I don't know if this has any like focus support or whatnot, or if it's just a really fancy looking housing. Just gonna randomly take the screws out as I see fit. Looks like there's some motors, so it must it must have had some limited focusing abilities. And there's the image sensor. Just on a piece of flat flex with uh, a few passive components on it, it looks like. Kind of cool. I don't know what that uh, piece of glass is, but it makes the light look funny, so it must be like a polarizing... Or I forget what they call it. Di Dichromeric glass, I think. I don't know. That's. So I've watched some videos and stuff of uh, applied science talking about some of that stuff, but it's hard to retain with as much stuff as I watch, and it's not my specialty. Let's see how much more we can get in here. Lots of little boards on this camera. Man, it must have been a nightmare to assemble. It's just everything's its own little circuit, basically. Versus now, everything's just on one board and it's a bunch of cables going to the components. Let's see here. What's this? Well, that's weird. Nope, well, you're getting unceremoniously ripped off. Huh. There must be some uh, sensor for telling positioning. Looks 
Let's see. Oh, there's a screw I missed. Yeah, just, this is destructive, so I'm just going to unceremoniously rip it apart. How's this motor held in? It's crazy because this isn't even a small motor. I think this is like bigger than the motors you see in uh, pager vibrators. It has a little gear assembly on it though. It's kind of cool. I'll probably uh, rip that off. I don't need that. I might throw that in my my motor's been and save that for parts. Here's the lens assembly. I don't think I'm going to be able to dis dis disassemble this anymore. Oh wow, that has more zoom than I thought it would. I guess it does say 2x and autofocus, all right. Huh. Oh, broke it. <laughs> Interesting. Can we get to come apart any further? I don't know. Hmm. You know, I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to get this, unless I can figure out where these screws are that are holding it together. Well, cool. That's uh, <laughs> here's the mess I made. That is what the camera looks like in a million pieces, minus the flash. The flash gets to sit in the corner because it's it's very naughty. But thanks for watching.